We Californians are asked to take some time this week to think about earthquake readiness. Thursday is the great California shakeout. And our story tonight, some things you might not think of for your quake kit, but may want after the big one. Here's Mark Staff of the Red Cross. People want their comfort foods as well. So you've got pretzels, you've got possibly wine or something like that you in limited amounts. You don't think of your snack food as being part of your earthquake kit, but? Well, it's very important for food value, but also for psychological value. You want to try and make as much normalcy in your life as soon as you can. Let me get some candy. You're not gonna wanna wash up all your plates. You won't have the water. So here's an example of some of the things you're gonna need. Paper plates, paper cups, disposable items, utensils as well and we'll look in a moment at trash bags as well because you're going to have to store these items. It's a real health issue if you don't have a safe place to store all these waste products. Yep, adult sleeping bag, perfect. You could roll up a change of clothes in there and store it in the back of your car so if you are stuck away from home you're going to have a place to warm up at night. You need to have that additional week's emergency supply just like your food and water. Mm -hmm. For many people it's that vital. Depending in on the that quake kit area. Ready to go. This right here has a selection of simply games and things to keep the kids and yourself entertained. TV's not going to be on. You're going to be together for up to two weeks at your house. So you want to have something to do. Number one thing though, water. Yeah. But for some people, they might have to have their coffee. You don't think of putting that in your quake kit. And you're my example because you were out of your home when the Northridge quake hit. Yeah, that was quite a shock to, to, to the entire family. Yeah. But we had planned for that, especially the comfort stuff. You know, mm -hmm. make sure the kids have the kind of cereal they like. You know, their, their sleeping bags, their pillows and stuff all set in the motorhome. We had a little tiny motorhome that we lived in for a couple weeks, so. Well, everybody else, out. do what I did. I just, <laughs> you know, Target helped us out with that shoot. We went to Target, bought a big bin, and just threw the stuff in a bin. It's good so to just have it. Yeah.